play. Fifteen love. Immediately, uh, like the matchup, OJ Aliassim has served brilliantly in this U.S. Open, and Medvedev will be in his standard return position, uh, pretty close to the back wall. He has a lot of numbers to dissect coming into this one, but you look at Felix's first serve on return is at 51% this week. He is going to do very well to keep it at that number today. Oh! Love. Serve patterns will be fascinating as well to see what he does with his serve today, how he tries to, to kind of get Medvedev's position to change because we know Daniel likes to stand very deep as we can see from that one. You know, you want to make him think a little bit more of the return. He, he will be happily there all day long. Such a good returner in terms of just putting ball back deep from that position. Thirteen, fifteen. And I think your point about serve patterns is great. Does Oje Aliassim change anything, knowing he knows where Medvedev is going to be? Yeah, I mean, we have seen players try to use the wide serve a lot against Medvedev, the, the kind of slider wide, because that's where the room is in terms of just the space. But to be honest, it actually hasn't been particularly effective. by OJ Aliassime, pass from Medvedev. You gotta make sure when you're coming in against this guy that you come in off for the right ball because he is an absolute master at picking you off. Quiet place. Forty thirty. Very nice hands shown by the Canadian here because we know Medvedev's ability to recover out of the corners is one of his greatest assets. So there's a sense in this shot that it's got to be very tight. It's got to be perfect. Moshe well, Aliassim has only put one first serve in. Out of the first to six points. Very clever play. 
this particular last shot. You can see where Medvedev is. You've got to try and use the forecourt. You can get the ball landing in and around the service line. You get it moving off the side of the court. That's where the space is. Got to try and use it. It's interesting, I actually had a look at the ball toss with some data this morning and it's a lot more consistent a ball toss on the juice side than it is on the ad side for Ogier Aliassim. There's a little more in the way of inconsistency on the ad side and I've seen a couple of mistakes already. Got to be a little, a fair bit of adrenaline coursing through him as well. Ah, advantage, Auger Aliassim. What you referenced, Nick, in the measure, how many of those unreturns can Auger Aliassim deliver? And obviously minimizing three doubles already. Let first service. lived on that serve First he only time. put four of ten in and holds a serve yeah great court position wasn't it as well mm -hmm. and that's obviously key because you are you do have time if you you've got to try and take Medvedev's time away you know he's he goads you Medvedev into going for too much too soon consistently players against him will, will push the panic button early and that's so key that Medvedev or Gia Aliassim doesn't try to do get caught into that trap Interesting, uh, the chair asked for quiet from a Daniel uh, Medvedev sweep to serve. during uh, that first game. Very different vibe at the beginning of this match. Feels very quiet. So unusual for Ash, and nothing like there was just a constant buzz last night, obviously generated by the <laughs> remarkable <laughs> runs of Fernandez and Raducanu. You never felt like there was ever really quiet <laughs> here last night. Yep. This has more of the library feel. I don't think there's been quite any night here, is there, Ted? It's certainly been no. remarkable. <laughs> Just. I think that's a play we saw Dan Evans love. use a lot against Medvedev, wasn't it? Try to go with the slice, take the pace away, get him to move up the court, get him into a part of the court not quite as at ease in. Fourteen off. There's a guy who scrutinizes your shot selection, I think probably as well as anyone, in terms of making you miss, forcing you into a poor decision. Out, game method. How about that contrast? Jose Ali Hassim had a 10 point game One to start game and first holds it love. You've been a few of those this week, haven't there? For the Russian. Been a wonderful emergence for OJ Aliassim this summer, making the quarters at Wimbledon. That was step one now. Another step up his ladder by a semifinal.
15 love. Male semifinalist since Juan Martin Del Potro, the year he won this championship. And how nice was it to see him here yes. this week, Ted? Yes. Hitting. I know when an aging lefty did went out there and hit with him one day. <laughs> and uh, intent on trying to come back again from a remarkable run of remarkably ah! poor run of Thank you love. Yeah, no one's had the misfortune that he's had, I think, physically in recent years. Certainly not many anyway. Let's hope we get to see a couple more years in a one Martin. Fifteen. A really good number of plus one forehands as well, mm -hmm. i.e. that first shot after the serve. That's been a, a good theme for him this week. Almost 85% of the first shot after the serve has been the forehand, so that's allowed him to get on the front foot. Much of that to do with the quality of the serve. been there with him for a long, long time. Was. Just missed it, but he did so well under pressure there to steer it back deep because it didn't look like he was going to be able to put the Canadian under any pressure, but he did so well. Jay Aliasim has not lost a first serve point yet. from Oje Aliassim for the hole. Oje Aliassim leads two games to one, first set. But I, think I'm saying, I think now we're getting accustomed to the fact that you look at that you don't think big serving, big service games, and he fools, he fools you if you don't. I mean, he has an, an absolute cannon of a first serve. There is the aforementioned Tony Nadal. Joined the team, didn't he, in the spring? 40 love. Thought that had to be the greatest endorsement for OJ Aliassime you could ever ask. That that's the one player that he would come out of basically coaching retirement and leave Mallorca for. Yeah. And it, it highlights a difference. Okay, Oje Aliassim, the name, the hyphenated name suggests, you know, mixed heritage, mom Oje, born in Montreal, dad Aliassim from Togo, country in West Africa. Dad coached 
Felix. 14, 15. Yeah. And then let go of the reins when he was around 14 and let the Canadian national program take over. And the man you referenced, Frederick Fontaine, a little different than the Fernandez path. Yep. Game. Medvedev. Different from Denis Shapovalov as well, of course. We know there's mm -hmm. been other people involved, yeah. but Mama's largely been kind of at Two the games center of what's been going off. on there. Each to their own. And now to take on that, uh, in the year turning 21, to take on someone of Tony Nadal's credentials. USOpen.org, of course, for a, allows you to follow all of the championships going on this weekend, all of them that are winding down doubles. One already finished uh, earlier today, the men's doubles, women's, the juniors going on, and the wheelchair athletes, all at usopen.org. That's great spot serving so far. He's getting some defensive replies off the first serve, something a lot of players have not been able to do. Hitting his spots well. Well, and the difficulty with playing the drop shot against Medvedev is that where he starts is so deep that he is always moving forwards. So when you play the drop shot, you've generally got his movement coming up towards the net because that's the way he's going. So you've got to be very careful when you do play it. And he was a little wide to execute on that shot. Thirty, fifteen. Oh, four already. That's. I see the percentage there, but that's not bad given where Medvedev returns. But it's also interesting, Nick, there, you see Medvedev block that return back. And often when he's that deep, he 14, can take 15. swings mm -hmm. because he has that extra time. And that's a good time for the Canadian, right, yeah. that he's mm -hmm. doing that? Yeah. Because you're just forcing him to adjust. to start this. Oje Ali seems first serve is effective. Leads three games to two. First set. I mean, it has to give you an extra 5% surely on what seeing on what Leila Fernandez has done over here. There's mm -hmm. a fellow Canadian, that intangible of that vibe of my fellow countrywoman achieving 15. this already. There has to be a, a, some sort of a, a snowball effect, doesn't it, in terms of making you feel good about yourself? Yeah. And push you as the great rocket watches. Two doors uh, down from us right now is Jim Courier, who would be saying you know, that's exactly what happened in his um, amazing generation in America, where Agassi goes first, and then Sampras, and then Courier and Chang, and they all push each other. Mm -hmm. oh! Fourteen, fifteen. And being from Montreal, that's the part that just is mind-blowing because we, 
everybody knows what a sparkling city it is, a fabulous place, but their top 10 sports are 1 through 10 hockey. Game Medvedev. <laughs> Almost and, number 11. And I'm not sure. <laughs> Three games all, first set. Of course, they had a, a Major League Baseball team there for years that rarely registered, and they had Hall of Fame players that could walk down Rue St. Catherine and never be noticed. Mm. And now two tennis players on the final weekend of a major championship. It's happening consistently, isn't mm -hmm. it? Point was Low there, 15. Not, from both. Roger Eliassime wasn't going to get sort of goaded into going for too much too early. He pulled the trigger beautifully on the forehand, but it's with a lot of spin as Felix off the forehand and then it's down there. Sometimes just be liable to miss timing it. Medvedev could not get a ball on the Oja Haliasin backhand there. Love 30. All forehands. And, you know, it, it's an approach you sense that he probably wouldn't have missed against anyone else this week, mm -hmm. but he's so wary of the movement of Medvedev coming into the backhand side that he's thinking he's got to try and hit the line there. He's rushing himself in a couple of long rallies that have gone the Russians' way. And the first Love 30. Medvedev's return must Love have 40. just clipped the baseline. The hat, Gilles Servara, the coach of Medvedev. There's no somebody on the Rangers. Sports psychologist on the left as well. For Oje Alizimin in game four, Medvedev just slams it. Takes Medvedev the lead. leads four games to three, first set. Gilles Savar in French, his native language. 15 love. Talked leading into the semifinal, the word he used in translation, that he said, Daniil has been domineering. Hard to argue, isn't it? Thirty love. Such a flat backhand that you've got to make sure you use your legs because he was just a little upright on that one. Doesn't get a lot of net clearance, Medvedev off his two hand.
40 love. Five matches. Medvedev has dropped his serve five times. Let for service. Yeah, right now, his serve is domineering. His serve is games. Medvedev leads five games to three, first set. Four service games, three points lost. Felix Servant volleying on that one again. Just trying to throw Medvedev's return position off a touch. Fifteen all. Medvedev won't vary from that. We we saw him in Cincinnati a few weeks back have a real problem because there was a television camera positioned, a little smaller court surface. Thirteen fifteen. Because he's Medvedev, he got frustrated. He said, "I'll sue," to which everybody laughed. But yeah, the uh, surface area, incidentally on ash behind the baseline to where the backboards are is about eight and a half meters that's how much space there mm -hmm. is to, to work within 14 15. you uh, you were talking nick about how this this us open ash stadium surface compares favorably to the others of the majors yeah rod laver is a little deeper there's a bit more space at rod laver mm -hmm. and in fact uh, similar at roland garros on philippe chatry there's just a little more room on both those courts but of course wimbledon's much tighter oh. Oh. <laughs> six six and medvedev scrambles and gets to this 40 30. Wasn't a bad drop shot, was it? Look where Auger Aliasim is as well. He's tried to cut the angle off. Just for a bit of reference, eight and a half meters in feet is about 28 feet. Mm -hmm. Just to clarify. Th thank you for... Most of us, we don't... <laughs> we're not very good at that. <laughs> Game. Oh, Auger Auger very good at that. He needs more of it. Well, really what he needs is he needs a way to get Medvedev into a Medvedev service game. Five games to four, first set. Third straight year, Medvedev has been in this last weekend, finals two years ago. Last year, a very good semi against Dominic Team, but Team won second and third set tie breaks to take out Medvedev. Oh, missed there on the plus one. Love 15. Up. Medvedev, I like that. Nick, he just walks right up to the line, one bounce, two bounces, and serves. And he does not waste any time. And it actually worked out really well. It was this one here. It was shorter than he thought it was going to be. And he was just able to hang around. He anticipated the one back cross court. And plenty of room. 15 30. Oh. 
Third year. 123, and just watching that here, that felt much harder and heavier. It's been such a good serve for him this week, that one out wide on the ad. It's actually the serve he has the most 40, 30. impact with, and he wins the most points with. Game and first set. No problem for Medvedev. Six games to four. Six aces and a 6 4 first set. <laughs> 15 love. Thirty love. Oh, this it's not a ball would expect Megdev to miss. You take those, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Gratefully. Thirty-fifteen. Watch again Medvedev's return position, which I don't think we've seen any indication will alter. Well, just further Fourteen-fifteen. Rally length, Ted. The rally length average in that opening set was five shots. It was five. Medvedev has been incredibly uh, vocal about that position where he stands and where he, he believes it should be uniform. Oh! Game. How about that? Oh, yeah, yeah. The second. I, First game, the, the second Medvedev, set. Uh, comments he made earlier this year, he was talking about the, his return positions, and he said, you know, I like it when you have room for the return because I have the possibility of going far behind. There are a few courts where I can't do it. When I was lower ranked, I played where I didn't have that opportunity. It's not good. I didn't feel good. I could lose games just because I felt like I was discriminated against, which is a different use of that word, but... Because I, he said, because I couldn't use my position to return. So he just openly again admitting how important this is to him. because it was short, he's moving forwards, he doesn't want to follow that in, so you can see he hits it, but his instincts are to move back off it. Fifty-nine. 
Medvedev talked a lot about his first coach when he was eight and nine years of age, and he said the drill they used to do at eight and nine was effectively they'd play a game where they'd hit the ball up and down the middle, but you'd lose two points if you hit the ball in the net. And hit he the said, ball in oh, the net. Yeah. yeah. And he said that was just 15, a, 15. That drilled me from such an early age mm. to make the ball. It sounds so simple, doesn't it? Yeah. But just it became ingrained even as a youngster. I've come to really appreciate that about Medvedev. So speaking obviously in English, which is at best a second language for him. He makes things so simple. Forty thirty. Mostly won by Medvedev, but that was one that certainly went against the grain. No advantage, Medvedev. Well, that was the first deuce point of this match on Medvedev, sir. Seventh ace. Game, Medvedev. That, that one game more, second set. Gut punch you. You get to deuce, and in like seven seconds, he serves two big ones, and it's gone. He's third on the season. And first serve points one on a hard court. Again, only Ryanich and Berrettini above him. Mm -hmm. So that's the company that Medvedev's in, and just how potent that first serve has been. Coming out of the corner of his eye, that forced the mistake. Suddenly having to change the direction, your big target down the middle is squeezed. Hasn't done it too much, but just makes his man consider his options a little more. Oh. 
Fourteen, technically on the shot sometimes it's too stiff. Make sure the elbow's a little looser. You can see he just kind of didn't really finish the swing. Thirty. He's had some double faults. As many as eight in matches during this U.S. Open. Five so far. Roger Aliassim leads two games serve. to one. Second set, first set, Medvedev. Thin margins so far, yep. Just one break of serve. One break point, that's all there's been. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Bounce almost did him a favor there because it had a lot of spin to it. Actually went over his head, so it became a slightly easier smash. Second service. He's now thinking that guy, why didn't I bring my glove? <laughs> it's not baseball. Forty love. The longer this pattern goes, the harder it has to be on Oji Aliasim. He got to deuce in the last game, but Game. Didn't Medvedev. last long, and now Medvedev holds it long. Two games all. Second set. The Nick we were talking about, Oje Ali Senior was a junior arrival, and that he lost the junior finals at Roland Garros in 2016. As you see the website again, reminder, usopen.org, with great videos, all the draws, real time scores, stats, and everything at usopen.org. So he loses the final at Roland Garrison, the juniors, and he gets he gets the visit from Yannick Noah. That's how he and Tony Nadal connected. Mm -hmm. ah! Tony Nadal goes up to Felix a couple of years ago in the the players' party and says, Hey, I, I watched you play and I like you. Felix files it away. Now the kind of the crazy year ends last year and Felix goes home to Canada and says, okay, I'm going to reach out. He calls Tony Nadal and gets that nice invitation. Hey, why don't you come hang in Mallorca for a couple of weeks? That's not an answer. There is no no in that one. <laughs> 
definitely. But it, it, it reads, and Felix tells the story, it reads like it was a little bit of an audition. And he went to Biorca for two weeks to work with Tony Nadal, said it went very well. Came back, started this year, and then said, let's make it formal. because everyone will look at that relationship and think, oh, Tony's here. Well, it's sky's your limit now. Do you know what I mean? There, there is an element of, well, hold on a minute. If, if he doesn't achieve what perhaps he might do, what's going on there? It must be him yeah. because Tony's a genius. He's, he's one of the greatest coaches of all time. Yeah. So if you look at it, you can look at it on the other That's side as true. well. You know, it does add a, probably a touch more pressure on him. Thirty, fifteen. 15. Well, they've called this guy the Gary Kasparov of tennis, haven't they, in terms of the way he plays. And goodness me, was he a move ahead there. And I, I hear your point. I think that's exactly right. But my takeaway was there must be something about this guy. Yeah. That, that Yannick Noah, Tony Nadal would both come up and make the first approach to him. Definitely. Forty fifteen. Still only just 21 years of age, Felix as well. Just never ever forget that in terms of his development. Just happens to have been around a little while already. say there hasn't been a lot of drama in this match. Now there is a, a definite element for Oje Aliassime. He's not threatened Medvedev's serve yet. Six double faults and now his game at deuce. Or yes. Very can be so liable off that sort of ball at that sort of height to overhit it, swing a little too aggressively, but reined it in well. Eight from twelve in the forecourt. Canadian so far. Oh. 
Oje Aliassime. Well, tight game got to do, Oje Aliassime takes care of business. Oje Aliassime leads three games to two, second set, first set Medvedev. Just a really vivid skies of them. Just a very awesome late summer day in New York. Not 15. Good margin. Because it's a big shot and he hits with a lot of spin. Doesn't have to have to be near the lines. He's got good margin for it. Caught Medvedev out there. 15 all. There haven't even uh, haven't been very many love 15s on the Medvedev serve. Thirteen fifteen. It's Freddy's based in the south of France. Felix, we know, has a place in Mon Monaco, so that's where they're able to do a, quite a bit of work down there. Uh, Nick, I have to 14, say, 15. we became accustomed the last couple of years to seeing Rafa as the Nadal at Roland Garros and not Tony. This is the first time really getting used to seeing Tony as the Nadal yeah. at a major. Felix off the return position, much deeper there. He has varied his second serve return position throughout the tournament quite a bit. Tends to be a little higher up the court. Oh! oh. Well, Felix yes. taking advantage, lays waste to that second serve. And just the second service game he's reached deuce <laughs> the first he's reached great point my advantage what a oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. was as well with Medvedev coming in he saw him out of the corner of his eye and he's just dinked it low he knew he wasn't going to get that tight to the net Medvedev got caught this man didn't panic. Oh. Please. Seen is simply too good. Longer points and Felix winning a couple of them. Yeah, brave approach. Because of the court position he was in, he was in a better shape. Medvedev's flat backhand doesn't allow him to dip the ball quite as readily as some players, so it was a slightly tougher shot that Medvedev was trying to pull off. So the percentage just dropped a fraction in this game. Oh! Okay. Oh, yes, yes. And a set 
seconds. New ball miss. speed. And there's the life that Oje Aliassime and everybody here knows Roger he needed Aliassim that. Oje leads for games to two. Yes, including second save. the Loyalists. We've had such a wonderful two weeks here. Very aggressive second serve, wasn't it, Ted? 116 yes. yeah. miles an hour. And he really did gamble on it. And that have actually hit him. Hit a 126 second serve in his fourth round match. Hmm. 15 love. Roger Aliassim leads five games to two, second red. set, first set Medvedev. Now the first small measure of crankiness for Medvedev. Chirp with uh, the chair empire, Jean Campistol, about the serve clock. Especially I had the lead in the game. Yeah, there was definitely a layer or two more to it, wasn't there? Fifteen all. It's a small team, really, that Medvedev carries around with him. Gilles does a lot of the fitness himself. Mm -hmm. Rami Malik, who, among other great roles, Freddie Mercury. Fourteen, fifteen. Roger Aliassim leads five games to three, second set. So Medvedev flips it back to Felix and says, all right, it's on you. See if you can square this. And just six unforced errors from, from Felix in this second set. That is how little he's given away, how controlled he's been in this game.
15 love. He has come in in this second set. He's only lost the point once, Ted. And we talked earlier on about how careful you have to be coming in. It's got to be off the right ball. He's picked his moments well. Thirty love. This is a man growing in belief, isn't it? I mean, that was an extraordinary half folly to keep it as low as he did and to hold his position. Look at the strength. Thirty-eight, fifteen. You always keep that in the back of your mind, don't you? When someone has that issue, is it going to eventually bite you at the worst moment? Seven doubles now for Oje Aliassime. Because it was such a good return in the backhand corner that Felix has been playing a lot of shots with the forehand off the first serve. That time he wanted to, but he, he just was forced back into a corner and he was retreating. Masterful return of serve from Medvedev. Huge point for Oje Aliassime. No panic at the net is there. That's been no. so crucial because he could easily have got a bit concerned there, but he just got it back deep. Good hand skills. This one here again. Asked him another question. Been excellent. And set point is the result. On the thought of Medvedev playing back by the wall, he plays that entire point right on the baseline. sorts of rallies over the course of the last 10 days. Great hitting. And back down. Actually extracting the error. G 
juice. You can see what he was trying to do. He was just trying to drop it short, which with the right volley, it was just a little central, and he just didn't quite make the room for it. A little tucked up on the volley. Nothing wrong with the idea, though. Medvedev. He's done so well. Ogier Alia seemed to keep his discipline, but just for once just lost a bit of patience. Wasn't really on, was it? Haven't really outmaneuvered Medvedev enough to take that shot on. This was a 30 love game, remember, and a double fall. Stop. Ogier Alia seen momentum. Now it has evolved to break point. Let second service and for seven double faults he's hit. Five have actually been in the net. So it just gives you an idea of quite accelerate sometimes. Roger Aliasim leads five games to four, and the second, second set. set still First set Medvedev. Alive. Poised to even this semi final to the set apiece. Felix Jose Aliasim, though, ran into Medvedev. Love 15. Seaman worked so hard to finally get a break. Oh! Let second service. Pass too well if there it's possible. Ogier Aliasim. This was so clean that it almost sort of gave Medvedev a slightly simpler volley because he didn't have to do too much with it. He could just get the racket out and use the pace. It was a tough pass. Out. 13-15. Forty fifteen. Out. Game at ready. Well, now, Nick, I think we get a real five games old. Second this set. This young guy. Two set points on his serve. Down to sets alive at five all. Just a little almost sort of physical drop, wasn't there? Just a slight mm -hmm. dip from Felix in that game. Worked so hard in this set to have the opportunity to finish it off, didn't do so.
Law 15. I mean, the value of those set points so immense when you see the score line. Don't have to tell OJ Aliassim two sets down is not going to be a real good play. Struggle to defend the second in this match as a whole. Just a lead of 23 points one. Love 30. crucial at the start of the match was the amount of free points he got off the first Love serve 40. coming into this match he was above 50 percent today he's at 38 so a big difference in terms of the amount of balls he's having to play off the first serve and a good example there the wheels are beginning to come off for this man The second set point, Medvedev has Medvedev won 10 leads, of six the games last to five, second points. sets, and by one set to love. Go, we we're poised to have a match leveled at a set apiece. And now Medvedev is poised here to put Oshay Ali Asim into uh, the tennis version of intensive care. 15 love. And what a. Perhaps it's what puts what we've seen with those. The two teenage women into some greater perspective. When you see LG Aliasim just has gone off the rails. Oh! Thirty love. Just the incredible balance he has on the stretch here. It's a good return. One big leap. Look at the big steps he takes with the outside leg. Forty love. Domineering, yes, and equally disappointing for Oje Aliasim and his team. Forty, fifteen. Game and second set, Medvedev. Wow, the spin you don't see often. Seven games to five. OJ Medvedev leads by two sets to Medvedev love. then won fourteen of the last sixteen points. I heard that Kim Quash has taken a wild card somewhere next week. Possibly an event in Chicago, maybe. Fifteen love.
15 all. Played two five set matches. 13, in his 15. Career. Biggest one, best one. Obviously, beat Zverev last year at Wimbledon mm -hmm. in five. Lost this year to Karatsev in Australia after winning the first two sets. Fourteen, well, fifteen. Look for the uh, silver lining, there should be a lot in the tank. Oje Ali Asim again has only played a set and a half of tennis since Sunday. Let second service. Forty thirty. Mm. Second serve into the net. Just collapses a little too quickly. slice as well midway through the second set he was using the slice backhand a lot more down the line he hasn't really gone to that lately Oje Aliasim. First game, third set. He starts the third set with a hold. You were right, by the way, Nick, good call. Kim Kleisters is going to play next week. Playing at Chicago event with, uh, of course, the WTA for the second straight year being hit with losing their Asia swing, disrupting, uh, basically throwing the entire fall out. But Kim's going to play next week in a new event in Chicago. 
been a few new events in Chicago this summer, yes. aren't there? Yes. Great job done up there. And Kamal Murray, the uh, former coach of Sloan Stevens, I believe Kamal's been the uh, the catalyst for those to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice to see some more events here in North America again. Of course, there was a while where they were disappearing from the calendar at a rather alarming rate, weren't they? But they're being yes. more and more coming back now. This one in San Diego in a couple of weeks as well. Fourteen off. Be surprised to see a few more in Canada, would they? In a few years from now. <laughs> That's right. Game Medvedev. Medvedev holds in love. One game all. Yep. Third set. A rival with OJ Aliassim and Leila Fernandez since Wimbledon of 2014. Canada has had six different semi-finalists at majors. That's the most of any country. I think that would have been one of those things. Not many people would have known that. I think one of the issues, obviously, for Canadian tennis in terms of developmentally now is to build more indoor courts because they've got a climate that clearly mm -hmm. is, makes it slightly more challenging in the winter months. Oh. 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 Sylvain Lillard, 15. involved with Tennis Canada. He Gave a great quote to uh, Chris Clary of the New York Times earlier this week, and he said, 15 years ago, we, Canada, wanted to become a tennis nation. So big resources were put in place, and now we're seeing the benefits. Yeah, yes, you are. Fifteen thirty. He's rushing his knee now. It's understandable given the fact he's chasing the score. So patient early on. Fifteen fourteen. Can't fathom what Tony Nadal's thinking now to have all of this work come undone so quickly. Please. 3 30 love. Nothing has Medvedev gone Medvedev leads two games to one, first set. And by two sets to love. So now Daniil Medvedev is in the total command of this. Two sets and oh. a break. And the 
play would indicate that the spirit of OJ Ali seems to take a hit. Can he get a break? Can he get something to give him a jolt? Fifteen on. He's won more hard court matches than anyone in the last 12 months. Mm -hmm. That's again the level of opposition you're talking about. Method has mastered this surface and oh! who knows how do you have felt 30. he could master clay earlier in the clay court season. He may well have been yeah. pushing for the number one yes. spot as well, but of course his mind was at the start of the, the spring in a in a great place. 30 all. Coming into this match at this U.S. Open, OJ Aliassime, 86 aces. He's hit four today. Medvedev had 58, far fewer. He has 12 today. There's a little something, though. 30-40. Oh. approach, a little untidy. Deuce. Advantage, Medvedev. Game, Medvedev. And Medvedev erases the momentary. Medvedev <laughs> leads three games to one, third set. Roger Aliassime, 3-1. Three, yeah, three first serves mm -hmm. as well. Medvedev can't, even if he were to stun everybody and win Sunday, Medvedev can't get number one, but he can get close mm -hmm. in the points. You get all the details on usopen.org, the official tournament website. All of the draws, the live stats, by the way, and real-time scores. Jay Ali Asim, by the way, is now 15. the number one Canadian. With this uh, semifinal, he's moved one spot ahead of Shapovalov. He's 11 in the world now. Yeah, you also look at him in the race, of course, mm -hmm. which once the US Open is done, the, generally the focus is on the race, isn't it, in terms of who's going to make Turin. Get himself a nice lift there as well. He'll be a 10th in mm -hmm. the race to Turin, well, Felix, so he's in the mix. Love that. Let's not forget Nadal's done for the season. He's currently seventh, so that's one place that's going to come out as well. When he was coming in with the second set, he was coming in with expectation. Now he's coming forwards with hope, isn't he? Yes. It's not enough on the approach. 
Medvedev's there with plenty of time. He can just drop it at his feet. He can back himself he, then to recover. He felt like a target. You could, the looking at him, Oje at least seemed felt like a target there. Mm. So now the finish line comes very crisply into view for four games to one, third set, and my two sets to love. Oh. So Daniil Medvedev having minutes ago, staring love. down the barrel, having to play at least four sets. Now a chance to get uh, through a semi-final in perhaps two hours or just a few minutes past. Ah! 30 love. Points one in this set for Ogier Aliasim just nine. Forty love. Fifteen. Oh. Forty, thirty. Talk about somebody that knows how to hunt wounded prey. Wow. Medvedev leads five games to one, third set. Medvedev going right at the throat of OJ Aliassi. One more game, or time, of course, with Yevgeny Kafelnikov, won't it, in terms of major sing major finals in singles for the Russians. And Marit Safin, I believe, has made four. I was reading before we came on air. I think Safin made four major singles finals. Here, of course. Oh. Now, if we could just get Medvedev to play doubles, huh? <laughs> Law 15. Kolikov still the last man to win a, both singles and doubles at the same major.
true north. So proud last night. Gonna have to be, looks like save that pride for tomorrow. Oh! Medvedev trying to go out into 15, Sunday's final 15. here with an exclamation mark. Well, he hit one of these, didn't he, against Dan Evans around the net post, mm -hmm. and it very nearly done it again. Let's for service. One thing's for sure, Ted, whoever Medvedev plays in the final. Of course, it could be a lot of riding on it on Sunday. Whatever happens, he's going to make it physical for them. Mm -hmm. Tell you, one of the most powerful things in sport is to be a visiting player or team and silence the home crowd. Now, there's no away at home here, but the Canadian fans that have been here have been so supportive of their players, yep. and they are silent now. Oh! Out. 14, 13. will come back in a moment with Medvedev. Sir. Medvedev leads five games to two, third set, and by two sets to love. And it was really that day two years ago, Nick, that turned love. Medvedev. He earned so much respect. He won an awfully tough crowd that wasn't really in his corner. Mm -hmm. He won them the way he played Nadal that day. Oh! Yeah, they seem thought that was long. He wished it was. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Something we all fight as humans, seeing things with our heart instead of our eyes. Thirty fifteen. Forty fifteen. This has been really has just been cold blooded by Medvedev from that swing game at the end of the second set. Forty thirty, and it is Daniel Medvedev to his second US Open Three sets final. Three sets to love, six four, seven five, six two. Wife Daria. Is it going to be one against two? Medvedev is there. It's 
Wales were, I think, exchanged between the two, weren't they? Yeah. A warm embrace. We've seen a lot of that this week.